From Fallujah to the streets of Mogadishu, Andrew Milburn has fought in some of the bloodiest battles of our time and was the first US Marine to lead a special operations task force during the war against the so-called Islamic State. So I finished law school and enlisted as a private in the Marine Corps, which um, you know my parents were not overjoyed at the time. My plan was to do four years and then go back and practice law in London as a barrister. I had a, I had a place at Lincoln's Court. They promised to keep it open for five years. Uh, but you know, I got to uh, got in the Marine Corps even as you know, even at the bottom of the pyramid. Um, I, I started to enjoy it and picked up a commission. And uh, just you know, before I knew it, thirty one years. Andrew rose from private to Marine Colonel, and after retiring in twenty nineteen, became a successful author. Now though, he's in Kyiv, training Ukraine's special forces in many of the military skills they lack, and helping clear the thousands of mines left by Russian troops. You know, we work, work through contacts in Special Operations, Ukraine Special Operations Command, and came up with a, uh, a program whereby, you know, guys are rotating out of the front line. We give them badly needed training. We make sure that they at least zero their weapons, right? Um, they get medical training, EOD training, um, or EOD techs. They've got very, very few and just no situational awareness about IEDs and booby traps, which the Russians have laid in plenty as they withdraw. Colonel Milburn's called his organisation the Mozart Group, a counter to Russia's infamous mercenary firm, the Wagner Group. It's funded by donations, with those joining paid an undisclosed fee for their expertise. They're not going to get their gun on and go on the front line and kill Russians. There are times, uh, inadvertently or, or by design, we have to go near the front line to talk to units. Um, when that happens, I, don't, I never tell people to do that. It's usually just me or one other guy. Um, and we very carefully mitigate our risk. It's a very deliberate approach. So there's no, you know, there's, this isn't a reckless, um, we're not a reckless group of, you know, Angola type mercenaries. And, you know, we are, um, we're, we're building capacity is what we're doing. Up to 5,000 foreign volunteers have reportedly headed for the war zone, joining a loosely organised Ukrainian foreign legion. But Andrew says many have lied about their military experience and are paying the price. We've had a series of incidents of guys wounding themselves purposefully uh, to get out of combat. Westerners, you know, um, Brits, Americans. You know, there's, no, there's no one nationality that stands out as being particularly you know, heinous. They're all doing it. Um, there needs to be an assessment screening part, right, you know, on the border before they get into country. At that screening point needs to be either, you know, a guy like me or another one of the guys who works with me, a veteran. Um, within a few minutes, most of us can tell, regardless of nationality, if someone really was in the military. Colonel Milburn says he's already hired several British Army veterans. The scale and type of warfare happening in Ukraine, different to anything even he has witnessed before. I'm watching all the pundits, um, the, the kind of the suburban mulkies on, on Twitter and, and um, Facebook and um, crowing about the Russians being pushed back. Well, the, the Russians are best in the defense. Yes, they've been inept in the offense. But they use reams of mines they've got, and, and they've, they've got no shortage of artillery shells. And the barrages that they can bring down very quickly have to be seen to be believed. The colonel says he was drawn to Ukraine by a desire to do something. And while Russian troops may be withdrawing from Kyiv, he, like many, believes it's a temporary pause as they consolidate forces in the east, the bloodiest battles possibly yet to come. Simon Newton, Forces News. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.